Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the stages of prenatal development. As you well know and we have discussed in previous videos that this is the most important lifespan that occurs in any human being's life. During this phase, what are the all that fields and the activities that occur are limited and defined by the genetic blueprint and very much influenced by the environment that is internal environment and the nutrition. So this period from birth to conception is divided into three stages for the better understanding of what are the aspects and what does occur during this period. So let us start. What are these three stages? In the previous video, we have discussed what are the uh, prenatal development and everything else. Now we are going to discuss certain, these are the stages. So let us start. Before starting, we will discuss something about prenatal period. As I discussed already, this is a time period between your pregnancy and birth. The human body, like most animals, develops from a single cell. Yes. It's from single cell. And how that cell is produced? That cell is produced by the union of male sperm and female ovum. When they meet together, they produce a cell. And from that cell, you can see that wonder of the nature occurs. That, now, how much time this cell takes to develop into full human being? See, that is average prenatal time is almost 38 weeks, it can be 40 weeks, 39 weeks, it is almost 38 weeks and 9 lunar months. Now, let us come to the point that it is divided into three stages. That is germinal stage, embryonic stage and fetal stage. This image in front of you which has been taken from britannica.com. This image is uh, captured by sonography and this image shows a baby, wonderful creation of a nature through non-invasive techniques. So this depicts the what occurs in the prenatal period. Now we'll start with each stage discussing one by one. First is the germinal stage. Is this stage runs from the conception from zero to two weeks where sperm meets the ovum and they together form a cell and that cell is made up of you say two things. Yes, you are right. It is from sperm and ohm, so it becomes a zygote. And at this stage, the cell, this multiply very fast. When they meet together, they multiply very fast. And that multiplication of cells, they remain uh, combined together and they take the shape of a bowl. Why they take the shape of a bowl? They remain together. And after that, they start receiving oxygen and other vital nutrients from the mother. This design, you can say this image shows that this is a female ovum. This is also ovum. Here, these are the small lines. These the sperms. These ones meet together with this egg. They fertilize and that become a Z cell or they become a zygote. That zygote within certain period travels this fallopian tube and attaches with the mother's uterus that process we call it is a implantation so this stage from 0 to 2 weeks is known as germinal stage that is from conception to 2 weeks to the conception the second stage is embryonic stage this is also very important and this is a very beautiful stage as i told you that these multiplying cells bind together and make a spherical shape that is we call it a ball the bowl of cell is now known as embryo. That is after two weeks. The beginning of the third week after conception marks the start of the embryonic period or embryonic stage at time when the bowl of cells become distinct as human. Here, now we can very well define and understand that bowl of cell is of human being. See, it has become very distinct. And in this embryonic stage, the important role is development of the brain. Here, brain start developing as you can recall in my previous videos where i started and discussed the principles of development that was cephalocodal development the first your head develops 
and th that process is very much evident in the this embryonic stage at this stage the construction of heart starts blood vessels and other specialized organs such as eyes ears nose etc begins this is a very important and very crucial stage the basic structure of the brain and nervous system is also determined in this phase i can let you know and tell you that this stage is very very important because here these the you can say foundation of future behavior and cognitive activities is laid during this stage so this stage is considered the very very crucial stage so let us move to the next that is the fetal stage this phase starts from the ninth week approximately 2 months after the conception so from 0 to 2 it was germinal stage from 2 weeks to it is 8 weeks that is 2 months that is our embryonic stage now the fetal stage from 9th week and that stage lasts until birth in this stage physical systems which developed during the embryonic stage develops further there is no new development but that growth that takes from that was that was started in the embryonic stage that develops further internal process of brain which are very very important for the future psychological characteristics also develops during this stage so this stage is crucial for the cognitive aspect that is psychological aspect and in this stage the most important thing is the fetus prepares itself for the external life because after that after completion of 9th week uh, sorry 9th month or 38 or 39th week whatever what so it may be the child has to take birth the infant that has to prepare itself to meet the challenges of the external environment for that the child starts preparing itself in the fetal stage for the coming life that is after birth so dear friends these were the stages of Uh, prenatal development our next lecture will be characteristics of infancy so very much thanks if you have any critical comments or any advice you can write me on my email varma sujit at the rate of yahoo.com i will try to inculcate in my next videos and once again thank you for watching this video by